So welcome today. We're going to try to create a really, really simplified um, Node API with Express. And we're going to deploy this Node API into EC2 instance inside of AWS. EC2 instance is basically like a virtual machine inside of AWS that allows you to run any code on those machines. So we're going to push our code in there so that it runs from there. Okay. So, but let's go ahead and get started. Let's create a, a really simple Node API. Well, so let's get started with like make, make directory and we can call it Node Express EC2. And then we could go in there, Node Express EC2, Express EC2. And then we could create a couple of files like index.js and .git ignore <clears throat> and then we could do npm init dash y so we could initialize it and basically create this package json file and then we could um just npm i express and right away we could also just do a git init well not, not yet let's just open it in code let's see what we got so far but in the meantime you can go and start creating your um repository in github so we could call it here like node express um, um ec2 and i'm going to select me as the owner and make it public and we're going to create the repository while that's cooking we'll go ahead and go into our api here and make sure that in our git ignore we add node modules there and we do, we could do a git init now okay and then from here in the index.js we could go ahead and just import express from express but if you're going to do importing you have to make sure that in your package json that you do bring in the type module so that you could use the new es6 import like this okay once we do that, we could do just a um, const app and from this express function, create this app where now we could use the listen and we can listen to port, um, let's say 5001. And this gives us a callback and we could just say console log. I'm gonna hide my browser there and say like API running on or 5001 okay and then once we have that we could also use the app to do a get and we're going to just listen to that root route and the second parameter that it takes is a callback function where if we're going to do it in one line we don't need the curly so we could um, use the res i'm sorry rec and res here and for the for the the response we could send some JSON and we could say like um, my API uh, running and then just put a little happy face little cool glasses not up here but inside there we go all right so if we run nodemon um, like this it should run if you do not have wrote nodemon it's okay you could just heal just do node dot dot because index.js is the root one okay so right now it's running and i'm gonna just hit it with um with this guy here for example um localhost not 3000 but 5000 and, and one and there we go my api is running okay so that's locally nice so now that we have um, get it knit, all the good stuff. I'm, I'm gonna do a git and git commit um, first commits, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just copy and paste this thing here. Um, basically, that is, sets up your remote origin and changes my branch from master to main, and then it pushes up into the main. So if I refresh here my um, code is up there. Really simple API, nothing too fancy, awesome. 
So the next thing is let's get started inside of AWS. If you haven't created an account just yet, um, go ahead and create one. Um, it's free. Once you're inside of AWS, what we want to do is find EC2 instance like this, and we click on the EC2 instances there. And then once we're there, we could go ahead and start launching a new instance. So let's click on launch instance like this. And once we launch it, um, we could call it like um, Node Express EC2 just to keep it consistent. Um, Amazon Linux, no, we're going to select Ubuntu. Notice is the free tier eligible. And um, just going to keep the bare, bare, bare minimums. Uh, T2 micro free tier, that's perfect. Now, this is important. Because um, basically a key pair is a like a certificate that allows you to connect into your um, EC2 instance. So let's go ahead and create one here real quick. And we're going to select PEM and let's just say node um, express EC2 instance like this. RSA is fine. Keep it PEM. And you want to make sure that you put it somewhere that you're going to remember where it is at all times, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and um, for right now, I'm going to put it in my desktop, maybe. No, I'm going to put it in my, in my um, I have like a search um, folder here inside of my, inside of my, uh, user profile um, folder and I downloaded the cert. Nice, so now this is the, certific the certificate that's gonna allow me to connect into my EC2 instance, okay? So once we do that, um, we also need to create a security group, which let's not um, worry about that for right now. Right now, the only one that needs to be checked on is allow SSH traffic from anywhere. So this will allow me to connect into my EC2 instance via SSH protocol, okay? So that's good. We got um, eight um, gigabytes root volume. That looks okay. Advanced details. Yeah, we're not gonna touch any advanced details for now. And let's go ahead and click launch instance and let's see what happens there. Once that should be launching, you should be able to um, click on the instance itself here. And then now while we're there, it's still pending. Okay, so let's check out what options we have here for our EC2 instance. So if you notice, our EC2 instance right now is in the Virginia region. Okay, make sure because if you create it in Ohio or anywhere else, then you won't be able to find it. So make sure you're, you're in the East Virginia and it's run right now the instance is running and if we select it here we're able to see a lot of information about our instance right so a couple of things to note is that you have a free public ip address that you get um, as soon as you launch an instance so this is really good because this is the unique address to my little server my little instance that we just created okay this is private you don't want to use this one unless you're inside of your VPC and you need to connect um, through different EC2 instances, okay? So there's a lot of other information down here, but those are the two things that I want you to know for right now. Now, what we could do is select our EC2 instance, and from here, we could try and um, connecting. So we could click on connect here, okay? And we click on connect, it's gonna prompt us to hear how do we wanna connect. And usually you wanna connect via SSH client, okay? Before we connect to our SSH client, I wanna note that you have to follow instructions here. So open your uh, SSH client, and basically opening the SSH client, meaning just opening your terminal, just like this, okay? This bash terminal window is your SSH client, okay? Um, now I wanna note that this guy here, the cert certificate, um, was dropped in my in my folder, in my home folder, then my, from my home folder, so the HD, my 
hard drive users my home folder and then i got some certs in here okay and then the cert is stored in here okay so just remember that now um it says locate your private file key which we just downloaded we just located it just now now check this out it's asking the key you used to launch is node express pem hmm well we downloaded a dot cer so not a pem so maybe it's a little off the instructions on here but you gotta just make sure that um you always use the extension that you downloaded with it doesn't matter if they told you it's a pem okay what you download is a cer okay so then it's asking you to change the um the um, admin rights to this particular file it's asking you to change it to 400. so let's do that so what we need to do is we need to um let's go back home real quick here and let's go into search because that's where i have my search right and you can see it here uh, this is my node express ec2 cert so here i need to do change mod 400 to that node expressor okay what that does is that it gives it particular rights that are needed for that okay now it's asking you to connect to your um instance using the public dns yeah you could copy this right but this is a better one to use okay so let's do this one together. So we're going to, from within my search file um, folder, what I could do now is I could go into SSH, okay, dash I, meaning use a certificate, and I could use that node. Notice that I hit tab and autocomplete for me, okay? Ubuntu, and yeah, that, that I could copy and paste. So um, we could copy and paste this part here and now you boom t but you boom to like this and then now it would allow me to go ahead and create um not create but connect into my ec2 instance so you sure you want to allow connecting yes let's do it permanently added wonderful now this means that i'm already connected to my ubuntu instance okay so this little machine it's it's a um it's a um it's like a like a little virgin machine right it has nothing inside like if you look at it inside um it does not have much happening in here okay so what we need to do now is we need to install um we need to install curl okay curl you install it with this command sudo app get install curl okay and you can have I'll, I'll give you a link to my um medium on this where we now need to install um node okay and this is a way that we could install node and i'll make sure i link a um the medium article in this tutorial here okay so once we install that um it's fetch reading the packages working okay great the third one we need to copy and paste is the sudo app get install node.js. Okay, we run that and it, that installs um, node.js for us. And basically this is the, um, the medium article that I'm following here. And I'm, I'll make sure I add that to there. So then we need to install PM2, okay? And I'll show you what PM2 um, does later on, but let's go ahead and just get that installed with that code there. Copy and paste into that Ubuntu. And basically PM2 is gonna keep our um, API running at all times, okay? Our API code, all right? So that's the idea. All right, cool. So once we have that running there, then um, we have already node installed and we have version 16 for right now. We have NPM version also version 8.15. Okay, great. So now we need to get a copy of that code so we could start running our, our, our API, right? So then what we do is we could go into our, um, where's our node express API and we could do like git remote dash v oh dash v and we could get that link right or you could get that link from your um from your github right 
But inside of our Ubuntu, so what we can do now is we can say git um, clone, and we're cloning that um, entire repo. We're cloning that repo. Now we have that repo inside of our EC2 instance. So I could go inside in um, DA Node Express. I could see what's inside. We have an index. We have everything that we um, created locally. Now it's from GitHub now into a Ubuntu. So I could literally just do node index and it's gonna give us a couple of items because it cannot find express, right? So remember, this is a brand new setup. So we gotta make sure that we do NPM init, uh, not init, but install. Okay, so it needs to install all those module packages. So now if we do node dot, now it's running on port 5001. Beautiful. So for right now, our API is running in our Ubuntu, right? But if we go into our our settings here of our um, Node Express API, and I click on my address, I want to copy this address. I want to put it into a new tab here. I go to it. I'm gonna get an error because it's not it's not we're not we're not hitting that API just yet okay well you said John that was gonna run on port for 5001 well let's use that port 5001 let's add that port there and it's still not hitting it why well because we need some additional security that um, is set up in EC2 instances here so we could go to security and under security we notice here that our um, inbound rules, it only allows for port 22 to go TCP allowed from anywhere. Okay, that's that's okay, but now we need to um, edit the security group and allow anybody to hit our API with port 5001, okay? That's the important part of it, okay? So in here, we're gonna go into edit inbound rules and we're gonna add another rule here. And we're gonna do TC, custom TCP, that sounds good. And we're gonna use 5001. And then from where? From anywhere. And then we save the rule. Once we save that rule, then if we refresh this guy or not, where do we go? Okay, well, let's get the uh, IP address again. Let's go to EC2. And then from the instance running, um, Node Express, we grab the public IP address, we go to a browser, and then we do 5001, and voila, our API is now, oh my god, I keep doing that, it's now running in the EC2 instance in AWS. Again, if you have any questions, any doubts, um, please go through the medium or leave me a message, leave me a comment if you like these kind of videos. Please just give it a thumbs up and um, I'll keep creating more for you guys, all right? Hope you enjoy and good luck with your deployment.